Holy shit, guys, we're actually playing this today. But let's get into the car. I say I'll just stay on medium. I try not to talk during cutscenes. Booker, are you afraid of God? No, but I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to show What's you the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment, you know. I should enable subtitles. Knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Moving. He will, eventually. I suppose he does. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change him? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey, somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I, I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that, pal. I want to watch. the pickup key. Is anyone here? Hello?
good when I am dying. It's good when I am dying, and it's good enough for me. The old time religion, the old time religion, the old time religion, it's good enough for me. Disneyland. 
Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Heaven. I think I'm in Disneyland. Oh, shit, I'm in heaven. I just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be watered clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm uh, just looking to pass uh, through. On a Touch me. Hey, I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you, I'm not gonna do it. Go away, Mr. Dewitt. Mr. Dewitt. priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. Oh, I should actually buff up my graphics. He who crossed the Delaware, with flaming sword and wings of angels, paragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and, and tyranny. By the sword? Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. So got a girl to find. I bet we could have something arranged. Morning. Good to see you.
transcript of the Prophet's recent address to you, the Colombian people, on the holy forgiveness of our dear lady Comstock, our beloved mother of forgiveness. You're not giving me yet. That statue, I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. Mike does not matter to a Liberty Scout. Songstall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. I hope you be against all that. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The You're fountain like is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the, the marigolds are You're still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. <laughs> Why, good day to you, sir. Hello. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. 
No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. I'll give it a shot. The devil, good sir, and can't... Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. King Bronco is your answer! Yeah. Those dirty box are at it again! See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and descent? Fear not! I got just the gear! Grab a shotgun and go to work! Good man! Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Hit enough and I'll get you up front. Looking to do your part for Columbia? 
show your skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Shoot the targets, earn the points, win the prize. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Well done, sir. All those box are kicking in their boots. Fitzroy slain, you, sir, shall be richly rewarded. The amazing handyman. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. Colombian ingenuity could create such an amazing Have you ever seen anything like it? You look so sad. Dear friend, sad. have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control of the men of metal. With just a whisper, they're all ears. Oh, uh, you, you really want to do that? I really want to drink that. Mm. <laughs> Am I high? Press to turn machines into allies. Oh, so this was the man of the charges. Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the Rapple awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. On! Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. It's your tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. My, my, my. Is this the children from the sky when the young ones misbehave? Escorts children to their grave. Never back talk, never lie, or he'll drop you from the sky. I don't sell salts. I'll just buy this. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's the end. This marks the end of my Bioshock Infinite Let's Play Part One. Of course, there will be more parts to this. But not today. You want me to talk to Rapper? 